while we learn about the opposition on the pitch, Wiser learns how to heat my home. All right, Mary, thanks for speaking to us. It is a very exciting week. It's the first semi-final in the history of the, of the women's team here at Exeter Chiefs. How's the excitement levels been? How excited are you for the weekend? Oh, absolutely buzzing, yeah. We're, well, we're excited to go again at home because um, we always get such amazing crowds here and playing on your home turf, there's nothing like it really. But yeah, excitement for all of us has been unreal this week. Yeah, fantastic. And first chance at, at a bit of silverware in a, in a Chiefs jersey. I mean, this could be the springboard for the rest of your season if you, you know if this weekend goes well. Oh, yeah, hopefully, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, like you said, first bit of silverware, hopefully um, push on into the final. But um, firstly, focus on this game, um, not get too ahead of ourselves and really focus on what we need to do um, and what we want to get out of it. So, yeah. Great. And that's the key, isn't it? It's, it's, you know, treat it a bit like a normal game. You know, I know it's a big semi-final, but, you know, it's about your processes and what, and what you do well. Yeah, exactly. We've just been trying to write a few um, little bits that um, we've been getting not quite on the, men on the money, but, um, and then focus on our super strengths and hopefully put that out on here in front of a home crowd too, yeah. Fantastic, looking forward to it. So it's Bristol Bears, we yep. haven't played them since the opening round of the season when they when they managed to get the victory uh, victory up there. Uh, what are you expecting from them to coming down here this weekend? Oh yeah, uh, they've got class across the board really, um, so we're expecting a big fight, um, but likewise we'll, we'll put our best team out there and, and go fight for that, but yeah, they're, they're class side, so um, we'll be doing our homework on them. Um, but more importantly, putting the focus back on what we're doing and hopefully get, get the win down here. And then, it's been a bit of a gap for you since you last played. You know, it's, it's always difficult, I suppose, to stay, stay match ready and to, and, and to keep that momentum going. How do you find having three weeks off between matches? Do you find that a challenge when it comes back to, uh, to game day? I think we've been aware of it as a squad, um, but I think we've really maximised that break. Um, and those training weeks, like I said, put, putting a few things right um, and really going for it. Um, and we've sort of replaced how our training week would look or like, like a game week would look then. With our training, we had Ricky in um, to do an evening session, so that was brilliant. Um, helping Susie out and yeah, we had a really good session with them both. So yeah, we've been pressing on and I think we've prepared well. So hopefully the break won't do us any difference. And then for you personally, it's been a very successful season so far. You, you've made that 15 shirt your own. How do you feel your game has progressed over over the over the last season since we last spoke with you? Oh yeah, massively. Um, I've really enjoyed. Like everyone here is great, um, pushing each other on and off the pitch. And yeah, I've been doing a bit of seven, so that's been really good for my game as well. Um, but yeah, no, it's been great here, and the development here is massive. And like I said, the Susie and Steve working alongside the men's coaches has really developed me. So. Looking forward to pushing on into the end of the season. Fantastic. Well, we're all looking forward to the weekend. Best of luck. And, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to seeing you run out here against Bristol in the semi-final. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Thank you.